Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, because a few of you requested it, I bring you guys the channel's first aesthetic home screen setup, inspired by iOS. And with this setup, we're going to take things nice and slow, so we can build the home screen together. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks and customization videos. And don't forget to vote for the next home screen setup that you guys want to see from right within our Epic Live Wallpaper app. So here it is, the first aesthetic home screen setup with a geometric live wallpaper. Now before we get started with building it, let's take a second to break down each of the major elements of the home screen. Starting with, at the top of the screen, these three Bluetooth toggles, which allows us to quickly switch between our most used Bluetooth devices. Next, we have this iOS style KWGT dark clock widget, which has been altered slightly to match the look of these dark grey icons. Next, we have this mini music player, which updates with your current album art. And at the bottom of the screen, a weather widget with all of the relevant information for your area. And rounding off this home screen is this geometric live wallpaper which helps pull the whole setup together. Now that we have that out of the way, the main two apps that you're going to need are Nova Launcher and KWGT widgets. The link for these and everything else you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now let's start by first cleaning up our Nova home screens by simply removing all of the home screen icons until you're left with something that looks like this. Now if you're running Android 10 and up, you should be able to replace your navigation bar at the bottom of your screen with full screen gestures. Just simply head into your phone's navigation bar settings and change it there. For me, on the Samsung Note 10 Plus, this is located within the display options. However, if you get stuck, remember you can always search within your settings menu. Next up, let's change a few of Nova Launcher's settings to get it ready for the setup. So let's start by heading into the home screen and changing the grid size to 5 across by 8 down. Next, we want to increase the icon size to 115% and at this point to really clean up your home screen, let's turn off icon labels. Now to move our home screen icons away from the edge, let's max out our home screen padding. Now let's make some minor adjustments to our dock. Firstly, let's max out the padding so it lines up with the rest of our home screen, after which we're going to add a backdrop to separate the dock from the rest of the icons. For this, simply use the same settings that I'm showing on screen to create this cylindrical backdrop. Next, just simply enter this color code on screen. And finally, before you leave, make sure to set transparency to 41%. Now before we move on to customizing our home screen, as a final aesthetic tweak, let's get rid of that notification bar. For this, simply head to Nova's look and feel section and toggle off the notification bar option. And to give us even more freedom with widget placement within the home screen section, make sure to enable these two overlapping options. Now that we have that out of the way, the icon pack that we're using in this setup to match the dark undertones is the charcoal pack. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and apply the pack as your system icons. After which we can finally move on to building the rest of our home screen. So let's start with those Bluetooth toggles. These come courtesy of the app Bluetooth Audio Widget. This app automatically loads with all of your connected Bluetooth devices, whether that be headphones, a PC or even another phone. Just simply allow it the permissions that it needs in order to run properly and you're good to go. Now there are additional customization options within the app so feel free to have a look around. Now moving on from our home screen we're going to load in the widgets for this app. And each time you do you can select which bluetooth device you want to connect to that widget. Here I'm going to load in three toggles, one for my computer, headphones and speaker. After which, we're going to resize them, extending them by about 2 grid spaces. A good measure is to load in the icons next to it and make sure that the widget comes a bit further down than them. At this point, let's take this opportunity to load in not just our remaining icons, 
but also the KWGT layouts, positioning them in a 4x4 grid-like fashion. Now those of you with a keen eye may have noticed that I'm actually categorizing my icons into different groups, the top being for social media, the left for streaming services, and the right for my most used utility apps other than those in my dock. Now once you're happy with the arrangement of your home screen, let's load in those KWGT widgets. Starting with the clock from the SG KWGT pack. Make sure to grab it and the rest of the packs from the Play Store. And once you have it installed, simply tap on the widget layout to load KWGT. And using the search function, we want to pull up the SG pack. And finally, you want to select the widget labeled clock. When you first load up the widget, you may need to alter its size. To do this, just simply follow along as I'm showing on screen. And if you want to learn more about the basics of KWGT, make sure you check out the video in the top right corner. Now back to the widget, we next want to add in an iOS style grey backdrop. To do this, simply use the plus button to add in a new shape item. Now let's head into the item and increase its size so it's covering all of that clock. After which, we're going to round off the edges by increasing the cornering to 32. Next, let's head into the paint tab and change its color to use the color code that I'm showing on screen. Once done, the final thing left to do is to move that new shape item behind the clock. For this, simply using the left hand side of the labels, grab one of the items and swap their positions. Next up, the second KWGT widget for the setup is Stylistic Music Player, number 26 from the Mini Music Player Pack. Just simply repeat as we did in the first widget to search for the pack and load the widget within KWGT. Now the structure of this widget is a little bit more complicated than the first, so just follow along as I first adjust its size. And once you're happy, let's head into the album art square shape and adjust its cornering to 32 to match our clock widget. Now that that's done, let's wrap that turquoise progress bar around the album art. For this, within the progress bar item, simply head into the color tab and change its filter from normal to multiply. At this point, don't worry too much if it goes transparent as it will reappear with the album art whenever you're playing a media file. Now, for the widget to better match our theme, let's head back into the progress item and change that turquoise color to a red that matches our clock widget. The color code that I used is on screen. Now, as a final tweak, let's also change the color of the play and pause indicators as well. For this, we need to alter the colors of the circular shapes within both of these groups. So simply head into each one and change their color using the same color code as before. And once you're done, remember to hit save. Now let's move on to the final widget of the setup, the weather indicator. This is a super simple widget courtesy of the mini KWGT pack. Number 20. Just simply load it within KWGT and then readjust its size. And finally, wrapping up this setup is this awesome live wallpaper, which you can grab from my own custom live wallpaper app. Just simply head to the live section and you can find it there with the rest of my custom collection. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.